Hey YouTube, Tony Alvarez here. Uh, making a Gravekeeper deck profile. Uh, go ahead and leave any comments, uh, subscribe, and like. Here you go. Uh, first off, we have three commandants. It's you know, just the basic searcher for Necro Valley. Uh, we have three recruiters. A, with his effect, you can search out a uh, commandant and get a Necro Valley to your field. Uh, descendant. He's good because you can destroy one one card on your opponent's side of field as long as you tribute one Great Keeper monster. And he's a 2000 beater with Necro Valley on the field. We have three spies. He's good because you can special summon a monster and with that you can you can exceed. And he's a 25 defense with Necro Valley. We have one assailant. He's He has a good effect and but I'm only running run right now. He's basically like an enemy controller. We have one fossil, Dyna Pachycephalo. So you can stop your opponent from special summoning. Uh, that's 14 monsters. For the spells, we have three Necro Valleys, of course. Uh, your basic field spell for this whole deck. Uh, two row tributes. It's good when you first turn it because you, kill, you basically kill your opponent's strategy. To steal or stele, you can use it when even when on when Necrovile is on the field to get two great keepers from your graveyard to your hand. Three part of dualities. It's basically just comes like um, the bit of draw power this deck has. Um, two MSTs, just a uh, staple. One Book of Moon and one Darko. That's. 14 spells for traps we have the solemn brigade just basic staple traps um, two bottomless trap holes two dimensional prisons two torrential tributes one starlight road one dark bribe and one mirror force that's 12 traps for the main deck that's 40 cards we and for the extra deck uh, one Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, uh, one Ancient Fairy Dragon, Black Rose Dragon, uh, Black Wind Dragon. I have him in here for a filler. He's 28 beater and he, he's not that bad. I have Darken Dragon, Gaia Knight, the Force of Earth, just again another filler. Uh, Stardust Dragon, number 10 Illuminite, two number 17s. Uh, Two seems like a lot, but I'm gonna take one out for uh, Zen Mies as soon as I can get one. Two Utopias and a Zen Meister. Uh, Zen Meister is good because you can use his effect to flip your face down, uh, flip your face up, um, spy back into the fence mode, and at the end phase you can flip him, and you can get his effect to special summon a monster. Uh, that's 13 cards for the extra deck. And I'm, I'm missing a couple of cards in here, but I don't have them right now. Uh, for the side deck, you have one Cyber Dragon for your Chimera Tech, one Malefic Stardust Dragon for protection for your Necro Valley. I have one Grand Maw. He's in here just because I need a filler card. One Flavor Magician uh, for synchroing, and he's a spellcaster, so he works good with this deck. Two Veilers. One Priestess, again another filler. Uh, she's a good card, but is just a filler for now. One Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind, Spirit Reaper, Great Keeper's Guard, Great Keeper's Chief, Goes and Match, Compulsory Evacuation, and a Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. I have Shadow Imprisoning Mirror for those uh, Dark World decks that you sometimes end up facing, and it's a pain with this Gravekeeper deck because you can't really do anything about it. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.